Hello everyone, this is Devin, and welcome again to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. This is part 32. We will be finally doing this mission, Lutia Pass, with the Lutia map up, and going to Baguba Port, which is a new town that we have yet to visit, so maybe something's going on up there. Down there. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick time to go over our characters once more. I do this every once in a while, probably every five episodes, just to make sure everyone's up to date with what's going on. I have Lenny, the Moogle Knight, whom we got from the hero Gull, Gale. If we take along that novel with us, then we get Lenny, a secret character that is a Moogle Knight that already knows Ultimate Charge, which is a 999 ability that takes forever to learn, and the weapon that we do have it right now is rare for a lot of people. So it's, it's an easy way to get Lenny and Moogle Charge, uh, or the Ultimate Charge right off the get-go. He does have the combo. He will be a thief later on with his attack stat right now. I'll put him as a thief and put his evasiveness extremely high. Later on, when we have a lot more secret characters, Lenny might be one of the first to go. So I'm putting some time into him now because he can be quite um, helpful. So I will keep him. Let's go on to the next character. We have Major, who is actually level 16 with an attack of 268. Extremely high for a new Mao. But the most important thing is, is that I've been using him um, to control monsters so that my blue mages can learn new abilities and everything. So, been using him on and off, mastering quite a bit so that we can control more and more monsters. A big one was the fairy one that we mastered off screen so that I can control fairies and get two abilities that are, are really good, which is I already have White Wind. I'll get to what I have so far. And the other one that we want is White Whisper. So Major's in it to win it. So good to know. We have Eldena, whom you don't recognize probably because she's a fencer. She is right now on her way to become an elementist. Uh, on the way, I'm going to be picking up the Reflex ability, reaction ability, which basically any standard attack directed towards Eldena will be immediately evaded. Her ability is Nighthawk that I'm going to be giving her, but I'm just basically just waiting for reflex because we only need one fencer abil ability to become a Elementus, so she's on her way. Next we have, I always back out and then move to the next character just, just to keep consistency. We do have the assassin Bertha, who's doing very well on her on her tree. She hasn't been learning a lot more. She learned Last Breath, or she's on her way to learn Last Breath, which is basically an instant KO move, along with Nightmare, which puts targets to sleep and sometimes dooms them, and Rock Seal, which uh, seals the target so and causes petrification, along with Return Fire. She's also backed up with Spirit Magic which basically is pretty awesome because she has Fire Whip, Earth Heal, White Flame, and Heavy Dust. Two healing things and two things to bind people. So if they're moving or if they're powerful, we can easily dismiss them. If not, if we can't instantly kill them, then at least we can put some kind of status ailment. Now the Blue Mage. I have done quite a bit of work with the Blue Mage lately. I've been going in random battles. I, I probably only around five but most of them were monster battles, so I was able to use the Beastmaster with all of his abilities to have the Blue Mage start learning everything that he needs to know. So let's go over some of the new abilities we see. Or we'll just go over all of them real quick. The Goblin Punch, a uh, random attack. Magic Hammer deals damage to MP. Acid causes a random at, um, status ailment from a distance. Night calls to the darkness, puts all enemies to sleep, and including... It doesn't actually say, but it includes your teammates as well, but not you. Twister, which is a great attack. Whipping Whirlwind reduces HP by half in an area. Level 3 defenseless you get from a bug, a blue bug actually, and basically if they're, it, it explains it, lowers magic re uh, resistance and weapon defense in units with levels divisible by 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15... I, I don't need to keep going because I'm not good at math. We have Matra Magic, which is switches uh, targets HP and MP, which is a great one as well. Bad Breath, which causes 
It causes confuse, darkness, silence, frog, and poison. All five of those, and darkness. I, I'm not sure if I already said that, but anyway, those are the the status ailments that they increase. Here's a good one. Fluttering fairy wings. Heals HP equal to own HP. Now, this is a great ability in the fact that he has... What do you call it? Since he has damage to MP, when people do damage to him, it doesn't take away from his HP. So right now, he could mostly heal people for 124 each time he uses that. And it's in an area, so that's another great one. We have damage to MP and learning, of course, which is the ability you need to learn all of these. So if you're still confused about Blue Mage and how I got the abilities, just put down in the comments below, ask questions. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. I've been playing this game a long time and I'm more than happy to share um, what knowledge I do have. I'm not saying that I'm a complete expert, but I definitely know what I'm doing. So we have the sniper. She's taking the least amount of change. Um, she's just she's just a sniper. I like her. Now Bolnini is a black mage. Now he you might know him as a time a time mage, leveling up to get his magic power up. But with the black robe, we have the ability return magic, which is an extremely good ability in the fact that. It counters magic attack with the same spell. So, wonderful. That's actually great. So anytime somebody uses like Thundaga against him, he'll cast it right back at him. And with Turbo MP, he'll do it twice fold. So the amount of damage that he can output is ridiculous. He's kind of my magic destroyer, and I still don't have this reaction command that I really want. But here is our Dragoon. He's been learning Fire and Bolt Breath. Uh, he's learned Lancet, which steals HP. He's on his way to learn Ice Breath and um, Worm Killer, which is great when you're facing a bunch of dragons and you really don't want to deal with them. So his stack growth has been interesting as far as it's it's actually kind of low until they start getting some better lances or change his class or something. He's not dealing that much damage, so I'm a little bit concerned for him and he's still a level, you know, along with everyone else, but... I mean, if you look at it, attack of 257, well, of course, we're not going to look at him. You know, he's just a little bit, the Beastmaster has a higher attack than he does, and he's they're the same level. Eldena has about the same, and he has the exact same as the Assassin, so he can't be too bad. Anyway, sorry, I'm adjusting. Let's go down to our Ninja who's been with us since the beginning. Oops, nope, didn't want to didn't want to leave. I wanted to keep on this funky music. Okay, so we have throw, wood wheel which immobilizes, fire wheel which confuses, earth wheel that slows, metal wheel that blinds and water wheel that silences. So a lot of good um What are they called again? We'll call them debuffs for now. Status ailments. That's what they are. So a lot of good ones for there. Uh, his equipment, he... I'm still waiting for a certain support ability that I want for him. You guys have seen it before. It's double sword. I'm going to be putting it on the ninja, and I'm going to definitely be putting it on Marsh whenever we get that ability. Um, I forgot which... Katana has it. It's not Nasada... It's one other one. Mott Blank is still a gunner. He's basically learned all the shots that he can for now. There is ice shot from a Gaiot gun, I want to say. But um, I don't think I really need it right now. He's he's fine where he is. He also still has his stunt abilities. I'm waiting for a certain stunt ability to come up for the juggler. As soon as we get the Orichelum, uh dagger, which will be immense health. And Marsh, surprisingly, is at the bottom. But he's just about to level up to the 17 league along with Lenny. Let's take a look at him. He's a fighter still. He's learned Rush, which is a uh, pushback. We already know the first ones. Farfist unleashes aggression, deals area damage at a distance. So basically someone who's five away you can hit because it deals area damage. It's a four panel range, plus
plus that extra run for the distance, so or the area damage. So the Far Fist is far better and puts Air Render out of use because it has a longer reach and it does more damage in an area. And we're learning Air Blast just, just because. Just for consistency, I suppose. So that's my team right now, as of late. It will be getting better and better, but as you can see, it's it's pretty it's pretty beefy right now. Let's go ahead into Bagaba Port. Oh wait, no, I was supposed to do that mission. Uh, I'm not gonna say Koopo. It's my brother, it's my big brother, Mont Blanc. He, he just looks so, so out of it. No, no, long time. Long time no see. Long time no Koopo. Oh gosh. You look well. I don't feel well. Not at all. I'm so lonesome I could cry. Koopo. What happened? Koopo po? Who's that with you, Mont Blanc? Koopo Koopo, where are my manners? This is my new friend, Marsh. Pleased to meet you, Koopo Koopo. <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Koopo. So, what happened? Well, see. It was a hit and run, Koopo. A hit and run? No, no, he's an apprentice gadgeteer. And he just finished building the airship of his dreams. Koopo, but on her maiden voyage. Koopo. Someone ran into you and took off? Gee, that stinks. It does more than stink, Koopo. Oh, the months I slaved on that ship. Koopo. -ho -ho. This is probably my favorite narration ever. <laughs> Do you know who did it? I know where they are, Koopo. Jagged Dorsa. They're in Jagged Dorsa, Koopo. Well, then that's no problem. All you have to do is go and... It's not that simple, Koopo. This reminds me. I haven't told you about Jaggeds yet. Mm, no, you haven't. Ooh, what's a Jagged? A place where judges can't go. A lawless zone. So there's no penalty for breaking the law? Sounds great. How clueless we are. If it were great, all the clans would go, Koopo. They don't? Nope, in fact, they avoid them like the Black Plague. Huh, why? It's true that there are no laws in the Jags, but lawlessness comes at a steep price, Koopo. What's that? Death, Koopo. I don't get it. Ever wonder why no one ever dies when they engage? It's because laws and the judges are there to stop death. So without the judges, you can die? That's right, Koopo, and that's why it's best to stay away. But what about Nono's airship? We can't just let whoever did this get away scot-free. I thought you'd say something like that, Koopo. Look, I'll go to the Jagged if you'll go, Marsh. Just, we have to be really careful, okay, Koopo? So, you'll go to Jagged Dorso for me? Really, Koopo? We'll go, but I can't promise we'll succeed. Sorry for dragging you into this, Marsh. I know you've got other things on your mind, Koopo. Damn right we do. We have friends that are just being mean to us. And their little butlers are being obnoxious. No problem, though. I don't worry about it. Besides, I've got a little brother, too, so I know how you feel. Speaking of which, where the hell is he? Thank you, Koopo. Thank me when I get back in one piece. Sure thing, Koopo. I'll be waiting for you in Bagadoo Port. Oh, alright. That you will. 
So Jag Dorsa, um, actually, does it go down here? Hold on just one second. Uh, da -da -da -da. Don't need that. I have it bookmarked. Jag Dorsa, I believe, either goes really up top or down. Yeah, it goes right on top. All right, sorry about that. Always got to double check. It doesn't go on the tippy top. It goes right here. I should have remembered that. So we're going to go to Jag Dorsa in the next episode. But for now, let us go and finally do this mission because I have been avoiding it. Not avoiding it, just keep forgetting. And we have more of these, these silly gooses. Now let's see here. I definitely want Bellini. And let's put Marsh in there so he can level up. Let's put Mont Blanc in there just because I think he's cool. And let's put our Blue Mage in there because he's the coolest. How'd they find us here? Um, rumors? Yeah, rumors. Bichon? <laughs> That's the type of dog. Now, if you see that emblem over that... Oh! oh, no! Oh, no, guys, 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 guys. I made a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. Um... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna flee. And then hopefully I can get this mission back. Because I made a horrible mistake. So this is the first time, this is what happens when you fail a mission, by the way. Um, okay, so let's go back to the pub. Let's go to rumors. And okay, I might have to reload. I really need that ring. If you can't tell, it's kind of a big deal. And yeah, 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 everything's under attack, so what? I think we have to wait like 30 days or something, something ridiculous like that. And everything's under attack, stop it, here it is. Okay. So let's try this again, shall we? So, whom did we have? We had him, and we had Marsh, so he'd level up, and why not have my blue mage? Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Okay, I'm glad that didn't take long. Miss Sean, Miss Doggy Dog. See, archers are typically the the anti mage. I swear they do like extra damage. All right, good sir. I'm going to have to steal that from you. Thank you. Oh, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I swear, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, good. I was about to say, like, if we didn't get to keep it, then I would have just given up. Okay. Now, this is our mage who has level 2 magic spells. And let's see how much damage he does. Oh, well then, that was... That was pretty intense. 
Let's move and see if we can get him to attack the Bellini. And I'll be over here and I'll hit you up with a heal. How about that? We'll use our new White Wind ability. Oh wait, is healing against the law? I'm completely oblivious as to what the law is. I'm so focused on getting that angel ring. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna do it. <laughs> Not a good idea. So he'll use lightning. He'll use Thundara on us. Now let's see what happens. Ow, lightning, that hurt. Here's my lightning. <laughs> He's like, oh, I shouldn't do that. Anyway, yeah. Can't believe steel is against the wall today. I swear, if they do an item find, and then they take away the ring... Um, yeah, I'm not... Boss! Didn't think you'd end like this boss. Who's this boss guy? I really want to kick his ass. I'm like waiting for a challenge. Bring it. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Phew. So. We finally did that mission, and we did it with style, and we finally have a new thing for our archer, I believe. Oh wait, no. For our sniper. Wait, hold on. I think that teaches Doomsickle? Death Sight Sickle, yeah. So finally we get a new ability for our sniper. But the most important thing is, is that we get a walk off with the Angel Ring, which is in fact, Ring of Blessed said to have been made by angels. Accessory, it nulls zombie, dark, silence, frog, poison, slow, immobilize, disarm, doom, and it bestows auto rays. So, and it goes with everybody. So, whom to put it on? I'm thinking about putting it on Istvan. Just because he is that darn cool. So, there we have it. So we walked away with a really good item, and I should have checked the other guys, but I was too fixated on that, and I haven't been checking the enemies for for really good items to steal, which has been my bad. It, uh, I've been totally dropped the ball on that. Anyway, guys, this has been part... What part has it been? It has been part 32, and it has been a pleasure playing with you guys. Um, I think I've recorded eight parts today. Uh, I'm working really hard. I want to get through this game and I want to make sure that this is up and running as soon as possible for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Leave a like if you are. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to go to the Jagged Dorsa and we're going to go help get Nono's airship back, which will be awesome because airships, there's always an airship and I'm surprised Sid's not here to, to fly it because, yeah, anyway. Well, guys, I'm going to be calling it a night. I hope you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow. I'll be uploading tomorrow, so I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out, guys.